Hey there, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. This week is really cool, you could probably tell. It's Super Bowl time! My favorite, oh, my favorite thing about the Super Bowl is the game day snacks we eat while the game is on. That's probably my favorite part, other than maybe the commercials. So, this week we're gonna make chicken wings. My take on buffalo wings, but it's a little bit extra special. We got hot sauce, we got butter, we got garlic, we got all kinds of great stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you how I prep them, how I cook them, and how I eat them. Let's get going. We've got our party wings here. They call them party wings because they're already pre-cut. Some wings come in a three-piece section. This is just already cut up, sectioned, ready to go. Now, I like my wings crispy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and we're gonna stick them in the fridge overnight. And what that does is it allows the skin to dry out quite nicely. Makes for a crispier wing when you bite in. <clears throat> so I like to have that when I bite into it. I don't like biting into some rubbery chicken. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put these in the refrigerator. All right, and then we'll be back tomorrow morning to start cooking these. Woo! All right, good morning. So we've got our wings. They've been in the refrigerator all night. They're nice and dried out, which is gonna, like I said, help them make them a little bit crispy. Our first step that we wanna do is we wanna season them. I like to let them sit seasoned, but if they're kind of dried out now, so this rub that really won't stick very well. So I'm gonna spray with some duck fat spray. You can use olive oil spray, any kind of cooking spray really that you want. Now that they're nice and sprayed down, it's gonna help this adhere to it. You can use whatever rub you like. Don't use a sugary rub. Oh, no, 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 no. Because what'll happen is it's gonna burn as we're cooking. We're gonna cook them indirect, which means the heat is not gonna be directly above them, but it's gonna be at about 350 degrees. The sugary rubs will tend to burn more. So this week I'm using Wasi's Vintage Sunshine. It's a real nice um, general rub, not a lot of uh, specific flavors, but I think I find that it works really well for the wings. I like to do one side of my wings because I don't want them overly flavored with just the rub, okay? I want that nice sauce flavor to come through so that it tastes so yummy. But, so I'm only gonna do one side. Our next step is to light the grill. So let me go grab my charcoal. We're gonna be using Fogo Black Bag Premium Charcoal today. It's meant kind of for grilling, um, you know, and it works really well for this. So we're gonna get that lit and we'll start cooking. Okay, we're scoring a touchdown. The coals have started burning. We're gonna put in our deflector. Now, the trick is, we wanna heat this up with the grill, okay? The reason for that is that if you put it in and put your food on right away, it's gonna cool everything down. You're not gonna be cooking at the right temperature. Everything in here will be up to the right temperature once we put our food on. Okay, you can see we're humming along at 350 degrees, so let's put our wings on. Now, when I'm handling raw chicken, I like to use a glove so that I'm not cross-contaminating everything. Don't forget, we're cooking these indirect. What that means is that our heat source is really to the outside. The heat is coming up from around the outside of the grill. So I'm putting the thickest parts of the wings closest to where the heat comes out. This way we make sure that that cooks nice and evenly. Now my favorite is the flats. Are you a flats person or a drum person? The wings are on. Ooh, they're smelling good already, man. Like they've been on for like not even 10 minutes and they're already smelling good. Um, we're gonna let these cook for a while. Then we're gonna assemble our sauce. It's a nice buffalo sauce. Um, like I said before, it's got garlic in it. Mm, yes, we're using jarred garlic because I'm feeling lazy today. I wanna watch the game. As you know, my Dolphins did not make the Super Bowl this year, but we are holding out hope. It's our 21st rebuilding year, and we're hoping good for next year. So let's let these cook up before we start our sauce. There's basically just a few simple ingredients. It's all gonna start with the hot sauce, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put two thirds of a cup of a hot sauce. I like to use Frank's Red Hot. It's my personal favorite. I just find it works the best. So we have two thirds of a cup of that. Next thing is one half of a cup, or which is equal to one whole stick of cold butter. I like to put it into little chunks like this so that it melts up easier. And next we have one and one half tablespoons white vinegar. Next, it calls for a quarter of a teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. I like Worcestershire, so I'm just gonna give it a couple little shakes like that. One quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne. Our last ingredient is minced garlic. Now, recipe normally calls for about one tablespoon, but you know me, I'm still using two. Now, don't those look good? They're almost done, so we're gonna flip them over and just give them a little bit on the other side. Let's see how they look. So our timing is off a little bit, so I'm gonna cheat, and with the expander here, and the big green egg, I can do this. I'm gonna put it right down here, and it's gonna heat this up in no time at all. 
All right, it's almost wing time. So now the big question, the big debate. Ranch or blue cheese? Ranch. Flag on the play. We're going blue cheese. It's the only allowed in this house. Flag on the play. Replay. I want to see that again. And that is our Buffalo Wings for the Super Bowl, the Fogo Bowl, baby. So I hope you enjoyed this. Next week, we're going to be making some... What the heck is going on here? They're going quick. I got to finish this up quickly so I can get some. They're very popular. They're really good. So I'm going to take a bite. Let me try one. Blue cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a touchdown, baby. Touchdown! Oh, my God. Is that good? Mm. Guys, make these. You will not be sorry. I promise you. Your guests will enjoy it. Listen, be safe during this year's Super Bowl. Take care of yourselves and have fun, all right? Go team. I hope that your team wins. Remember, please hit subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Leave us a comment, okay? Heck, share it with your friends. Next week, we're going to make Super Bowl queso and we're going to do a nachos table. It's going to be epic. So make sure you tune in next week for the next one. And thanks again for joining us on The Fogo Life. We'll see you next week.